<laughs> right. Hi guys welcome to my channel and for today's video is we're going to continue the game and we're going to continue where we left off and this time uh, the job that we're going to do is uh, the warehouse so we're gonna uh, we're gonna build the warehouse on our home base and okay let's start the game Quick select vehicle. Use quick select vehicle to switch between the machines that are currently out of storage at any time. Just tap on the required machine. You have one unspent skill points. Instructions. Open the vehicle quick selection. We're gonna choose get onto TGS with Miller. Uh, this flatbed uh, dump truck. I'm gonna select that one. Press the highlighted button to open the location quick selection. So this is like a shortcut uh, that you can go directly to any place on the map. Quick select town. Use quick select town to switch between all locations and alert tool at any time. Tap on the desired town to switch. Bring the following vehicle to its target location. So we're gonna bring this vehicle to the construction site. So instead of driving it uh, through the streets, um, it's gonna teleport your vehicle directly to a specified location on the map. So in this case, um, it's going to be the home base, uh, which is the construction site. Construction site is going to be at the home base. So let's select that. There we go. Home base. So we're gonna park this vehicle up here, right there, on the marked area. Press the highlight button to open the vehicle to quick selection. So get into the back hole. So we're gonna move this backhoe over there bring the following vehicle to its target location okay we're gonna bring this up I'm going to park this backhoe on this mark location. So there's like a bunch of... There's like a bunch of uh, soil. 
dumped in there so we're gonna flat we're going to flat flatten the uh, area the ground so there's like three mound like soils on there we're going to use the front loader we're gonna flatten this one so we're going to go we're going to get those excess soil I'm going to dump it on the flatbed truck Completed. Now we're going to clear the area. We're going to remove all the vehicles here in this ground. So we're going to first dump this soil. And we're gonna we're gonna keep away these vehicles from here.
I completed the stage. Gravel pit. The ground looks good. Well, we'll, we'll sell the soil in the gravel pit and buy gravel for the warehouse. We're gonna drive this truck on the gravel pit to sell this truck for the Scooped out from the ground. gravel pit so this is the gravel pit back up into the mark area let's continue driving and we're gonna back up this truck on that mark area there to dump the soil Use the slider to lift or lower the bed. Now it's uh, empty and let's going to you can buy buckets here. Session the dump truck in the mud area under the gravel silo. We're gonna get some gravel to dump on the ground there on the uh, construction site for our new warehouse and let's back this vehicle up there long press on the gravel silo and select the highlighted icon to fill the dump truck with gravel We're good. Bring the following vehicle to its target location. And let's go back to the construction site. I wasn't looking over the map on here so unfortunately I wasn't able to get in a wrong direction so I need to back up the truck once again good thing that there's a, uh, a bit of space that I can back up up there so that's it Very careless. So they should be the way the right go that way. So okay, so continue driving.
Now we have arrived on our home base. The construction site is at that uh, side of the building, of the administration building. So we're gonna have the gravel laid onto that ground. Now all we need to do is just to back up a little. So unload the gravel in the marked area. While unloading, drive forward slowly to spread the gravel evenly. If necessary, use the back hose or front loader to spread out the gravel. I'm just going to need to align this truck. So that uh, we can unload the gravel up here. Unloading the gravel and let's go forward a little slowly that's completed okay now use the front loader clear the area now let's keep this truck away from that area now and automatically gravel is now spread out now the gravel needs to be compacted to do this we need to rent a compactor on the uh, vehicle dealership um, let's just have this truck be parked on here and we're gonna select the vehicle dealership directly mistakenly I was able to press that one without having the uh, are making a long press on that on the map so that uh, we're not able to bring the uh, truck or the flatbed dump truck on the uh, vehicle uh, vehicle dealership so we're going to rent for now this compactor and we're gonna select the vehicle selection so that's the it's a bit too far now let's just have this compactor be selected so get onto the compactor press the highlight button to open the location quick selection and we're going to con select the construction site and it's all going to automatically have your compactor be delivered on the construction site or on the uh, specific location on the map you have selected now we're going to have this compactor be driven on that area long press on the vehicle and select the highlighted button to activate the compactor. So compact the following gravel. Let's start compacting right now. And we're gonna make our way through those gravel complete the compactor procedure for the process now okay it's almost there almost halfway okay, halfway through the process
good thing in this game is that I appreciate the uh, the uh, realism because uh, the vehicles are having the brands which is from the real brands like, for example this one caterpillar so it's not just like a generic brand on the game so it's coming from the uh, real brands that uh, our construction workers are using so you know what I mean uh, you get to feel the uh, like you're the one you get to feel the how is it how is it like to be working on a construction site with this uh, equipment there task completed okay turn off the compacting so we're gonna long press uh, the highlighted button to turn off the uh, compacting procedure then we're gonna clear the area backing up yeah, after some time okay I think that looks good we no longer need the compactor here you can return the machine right now and terminate the rental long press on the vehicle and uh, so that we can return the uh, vehicle financial overview Always keep track of your earnings and expenses. Both will be listed at the end of the month. Through your company's administra administrative section, you have access to your finances at all time. Keep an eye on your running expense in particular and search for ways to further optimize your process. You can return rented vehicles the moment you don't have them needed. So, okay, stage completed done well next beat the warehouse looks great now it just needs to be filled there are some old good uh, goods lying around the grass that we could still use okay I'll need a vehicle with a flatbed for that right not necessarily all company premises have the forklift that you can use to transport goods on the grounds. You can always select it via the company building. That's great. I'll try it right now. Long press on the company premises and select the highlighted icon. Now let's long press this building on up here. And select the forklift. Okay, we have a forklift. Hi, buddy. Okay, so we're going to drive this forklift on here in the smart area. And I guess we're going to lift this. We're going li to lift these uh, boxes or pallets. And we're going to move that to that uh, marked area up, up there. Alright, by the way guys, um, driving the forklift, uh, you need to align the forklift on the pallet and then when this highlight bu highlighted button uh, highlights, just click the icon or tap on the icon which is a forklift sign and it will gonna grab the uh, pallet to be, un uh, to be loaded on the forklift. Now let's have this for this pallet put down over here and once again click that icon and it's gonna unload the pallet so that's easy now we have 
two other pallets they need to move okay we're down to two Okay, we are already unloaded two pallets, so we still have one. Task completed. Wonder why. The last pallet is difficult to get to the fork with the forklift. You can store all goods in the warehouse directly using the context menu. We're gonna store these pallets to the warehouse. guess I need to okay long press on that and store on the warehouse I guess the other two as well not sure store all pallets oh, okay this one is not functioning so the other two we need to store them as well. We're good. Use the context menu to return the forklift. Now, long press on the forklift and return. And we're good. Stage completed. Well, that's that. The materials have been stored away. Great, now I'll show you the building merchant, grab the flatbed truck and drive over there. I placed a waypoint on the map for you. So let's choose the uh, flatbed truck, which is right now on the uh, vehicle dealership, mistakenly delivered. Let's just drive this truck over the uh, supplier, construction supplier I guess. I guess it's gonna be on um, this way. Shows the waypoint on the map this way. Oh there you go. So this reads as clots, clots, and keel. Now this is this is the material supplier. We're gonna park this truck on that marked area. I guess it should be on that under that arrow. All right, we're good. Long press on the building merchant and select the highlighted symbol. Building material supplier. This is what the local building material supplier has to offer. You'll find almost all of the materials you need to complete your jobs here. If you have an active job, they are highlighted in yellow. Just select the quantity you need and then decide if you want to transport them yourself or have them delivered to your warehouse or to the job site for a fee. Provident construction entrepreneurs buy all the materials they need for a job at once. If you have an active job, you can view the materials you still need 
for the current construction stage by pressing the filter button in the top left. There are discounts on different materials from time to time with reductions of up to 25%. In this case, let's gonna select the ones that are highlight highlighted by yellow and it shows the quantity. So gonna select the quantity and then to go. Oh, it's gonna display okay so it shows on there that's that the goods have been stored away perfect you can manage your warehouse by the company premises and retrieve or sell goods okay that's really helpful what do we do next well the warehouse is done your company premises are now ready to up op for operation now we can take care of some real jobs have a look in the job when you're right now to see if we receive anything yet. Sure, let's start right away. Oh, you have successfully completed the job, the warehouse. This is your job report. Okay, here you go. Job's completed. All right, so we're good with this stage, with this uh, job. So that's it for now guys for this video and uh, we're going to continue playing and finding some jobs on this game. So it's going to be on the next video so stay tuned guys. So this looks, this game really looks beautiful. Like I mean the, the sky it looks beautiful in the afternoon. So that's it and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye guys.